24 hours a day, 7 days a week, 365 days a year. This, this, this is MM Radio. Hey, Jack, hey, give us a beer, mate. Come on. Are you ready? For triple shots on the rocks. The 24 hour music bar. The drinks are on, JJ. You got time to breathe, you got time for music. Well, hello there, my lovelies, and welcome to a new triple shots on the rock show. I'm joined today by Tom Adamson and his band. This is Ballyho. We're going to kick off with this and then we're going to have a little chat with Tom Adamson. Hi, JJ. Thanks for having me on the show. Hello, Tom. You are most welcome, my darling. You are most welcome. Obviously, I've had privy to your album and uh, I absolutely love it. Hence the show. Right. I've got a few questions to ask you. So here is the first one. How would you best describe your music? So it was a tricky one. Well, first and foremost, I'm a drummer. So I'm thinking more sort of live textures and rhythms rather than anything programmed, coming from like a classic rock, blues, progressive rock sort of vibe, exploring the different aspects within those genres. And my degree was in jazz, so there's lots of improvisation. So that all informs her right and the overall sound of the band. Right, yeah. I mean, we've all got our own way of doing it, haven't we? It doesn't really matter what instrument we play. I mean, I play quite a few different instruments. But if I'm writing, I always start on a guitar and um, work it from there, you know, to the drums and saxophone and and piano. Um, But uh, it's a great process creating and writing and being sort of in that studio environment. But where have you performed lately, if at all? Recently, uh, in terms of my original stuff, uh, performing my own work uh, rather than session work, playing other people's stuff, uh, I played at the Caledonian Club in London in support of the charities Scots Care, Borderline and Forces Children Scotland, uh, performing solo piano and vocal versions of a couple of the tracks from the album uh, See the Light, which there's actually uh, an Instagram video of me doing a version of that, and Stillness of the Night, which was great to take this huge epic right down to vocal and piano. I can imagine, yeah. It's uh, quite a different story, isn't it? Going from full band and stripping it right back down. Well, let's have a listen to that track now. This is The Stillness of the Night by the Tom Adamson Band. You stay on the line, Tom. Thank you. 
what it's called so make a note of that old view of a new world I'm absolutely loving it there's so many different genres going on that it's uh, right up my alley Tom absolutely stunning whoever your saxophone player is I salute them what inspired you to become a musician what was that thing that made you say, I'm a musician? What inspired me to start? Um, well, my mum's a piano teacher, so music was always in and around the house growing up. Uh, I got my first drum kit the Christmas before my third birthday, uh, mostly because they were fed up of me making dents on every surface in the house. <laughs> <laughs> Oh dear, I know that feeling. You know, I, I play drums as well, well attempt to. And um, if I'm in the kitchen on my own, let me tell you, nothing is safe. <laughs> I've often heard cries from other rooms, that she's killing the kitchen again. Um, so, <laughs> yeah, yeah, I know what you mean. So tell me, who do you look up to as a musician? Growing up in and around Dunfermline, there were lots of bands to look up to, really. Uh, Nazareth. Big Country, Joe Templey, who was from Fife, uh, but played with Duke Ellington. Um, as a drummer, my hero is Ian Pace of Deep Purple, but I'm really into uh, Louis Belson as well, which is less rock and more jazz, but certainly a, a big influence on Keith Moon, you know, whereas Ian Pace was more inspired by Buddy Rich, so I, I suppose Buddy Rich to an extent as well for my playing. Vocal-wise, it's always a tricky thing, singing with a Scottish accent. You know, you don't want to get into the Andy Stewart's and Proclaimers thing too much. And through listening to guys like Dan McCafferty or Joe Egan, Jerry Rafferty, Stuart Adamson from Big Country, you know, and mix that in with other guys that I absolutely adore, like Paul Rogers or Ian Gillen, and I try and find my way through, you know. Um, there's obviously, like, Doogie McLean as well, who is not far up the road from where I grew up. Uh, piano, 
Again, John Lord, you know, you're getting a very deep purple vibe from all these answers. Uh, but Keith Jarrett as well and Oscar Peterson, uh, who I was lucky enough to see live, actually. Both him and John Lord I've seen live. Uh, guitar inspiration from music normally comes from bands like Thin Lizzy, Wishbone Ash, that sort of dual guitar thing, which you can hear on a few of the tracks on the album and things, you know. Or even like the Black Crows, where you've got the, the open tunings and stuff that they're playing around with, inspiring tracks of mine, like Take Me, for instance. Well, my lovely, we are going to have a listen to this track now. This is Take Me by the Tom Adamson Band. A year with one season With a sheep that won't roam A deal that won't fleece them They need a reason Dollar can shine brightly against the cloudy sky as the crow calls louder and it's passage by. Take me. Please, you are joining me on the Triple Shots on the Rock show, the Tom Adamson Band, and this is Take Me, and I am loving it, I'm absolutely loving it, but I've got one question to ask you, Tom, and it's a question that I get asked a lot, what would you be doing if it 
wasn't for music, I mean, my answer is probably dead. You know, <laughs> what would you be doing, my love? What would you be doing? If I wasn't doing music, that's a tricky question. Um, I'm also a qualified sound engineer and uh, I teach Scottish dancing uh, when I'm not playing. So perhaps something to do with that or along those lines. All oh, right, I see. I've always fancied doing a bit of a Highland fling myself or the Irish dance, you know, where you sort of have your legs flailing around as though independent from your body. Is that the sort of thing? Stop looking at me like that. Uh, we'll leave it there, love. <laughs> Let's move on to your next track. Let's have a listen. This is Lead Me to the Edge. <laughs> do you think I nearly did? It's absolutely stonking, Tom. Absolutely stonking. Tell me, what is your favourite track to play live? My favourite just now is uh, See the Light. As I said, I've, I've been playing that quite a bit with the band and uh, solo as well. It's quite a fun one just to do solo piano and vocals. And this is the track, See the Light. Let's have a good old listen to this one. I must say, I'm loving you so far, Tom. Absolutely brilliant, brilliant album.
souls of the day Blurred feet bouncing up and down A fire burning soul is red And I know the fantastic track see the light and I, I it's amazing i'd love to see it live but also i'd love to see you put it together what are your creative sessions like but it can be quite focused and intense to be honest uh, sometimes a full song can be written in 10 minutes if you get the right wind of inspiration uh, other times it can be a mixture of a couple of ideas formed over months. I find my writing is informed a lot by the instrument I'm sitting at, uh, also what I'm transcribing or listening to at the time, you know, you could be exploring a certain genre or a certain rhythmic pattern or something, you start noodling away and suddenly something new comes out of it. Other inspirations could be things that have happened in my life, inspiring waiting for life to begin or just another way to make a friend and historical events in Scotland, like the Black Dinner, uh, which obviously there's a, a tune on the new album called The Black Dinner. There was a lot of research went into that just to get the details right and create the, the atmosphere and the narrative um, to try and bring this story to life again after about 600 years. That sounds like me getting up in the morning, love. <laughs> it takes me that long. Tell me, darling, do you have any upcoming engagements that we can come and uh, support and cheer and throw things at you? I mean, nice things at you. <laughs> There's a few things yet to be announced uh, for live shows, um, maybe a tour in the autumn as well. I'm trying to sort that just now. So, yeah, keep an eye on my website, which is tom-adamson.com or social media as well. Give me a follow at Tom Adamson Band and hopefully see you all out there soon. Yeah, definitely will. And hopefully I'll be there as well. This is the title track from the album Old View of the New World by Tom Adamson Band.
Well, what a lead track. And what an album this is turning out to be. And what a show. Thank you, Tom Adamson, for joining me on this very, very special show. Tell me, if you could collaborate with anybody, you know, we all have these little dreams, who would you love to collaborate with? I'm dying to know. I'm available, (laughs) just in case. (laughs) If I could collaborate with anybody, I'd probably go for someone like Glenn Hughes or something. Um, He seems like quite a nice bloke and it'd be quite a fun session, I reckon. Um, And you never know, if you've got Kevin Shirley producing it, you might get Joe Bonamassa stepping in, doing a bit of guitar work as well. I'd love to hear Glenn singing on Lead Me to the Edge or something from the new album. I think that'd be really good. Oh, yes, I have those dreams myself, my darling. I'm constantly live with some superhero musician. (laughs) And then somebody will knock my door and I'm back in reality. But I know what you mean. Collaboration is the way forward, definitely. So tell me, what message would you uh, like to give out to your fans right now? The stage is yours. Take it away, Tom Adamson. A message to spread to the fans. Uh, I suppose check the album out on Bandcamp if you're checking the album out. Uh, It's a higher resolution version on there so you can get a better download. And it comes with a free video download as well when you purchase it. So... Yeah, give it a listen to and hopefully see you out on the road soon. Well, my darling, anything with a free video I'm in on. So, yes, I'm buying that now. <laughs> and uh, we will be sort of mentioning you and your tour as you uh, develop it throughout the year. So do keep in touch with me, Tom, about that. And definitely, if you've got any new engagements, do let me know now. There's a few things yet to be announced uh, for live shows. Um, maybe a tour in the autumn as well. I'm trying to sort that just now. So, yeah, keep an eye on my website, which is tom-adamson.com or social media as well. Give me a follow at Tom Adamson Band and hopefully see you all out there soon. Well, Tom, it has been an absolute pleasure talking to you. Obviously, I am going to run out and buy your album, Old View of the New World. And I'm playing you out with one of your heroes. This is Nazareth and the flight tonight. Thank you, Tom, and I will talk to you soon. Bye for now. It wasn't the one that you gave to me That night down south between the trailer Not the early one that you wish upon Not the northern one that guides in the sailors You've got that touch so gentle and sweet But you've got that look so critical Everywhere a little light shine Blackness, blackness Dragging me down Come on out of kiddo In this heart of mine Starlight Starlight You've got the loving that I like Turn this crazy body around Should I have got on This fight tonight Well, you were listening to Tom Adamson and his band. That was his album, Old View of the New World. Please go and support Tom. This is an excellent, excellent album. 
and I wish you the very, very best, Tom. And I really do look forward to speaking to you again. And thank you for your time for being with me on the Triple Shots on the Rock show. And just one thing, if you are going to go and buy the album, please go to Bandcamp. That is the best place to buy any indie album this Friday. So you know where to go, okay? There's no excuses. And thank you so much, Tom Adamson. Attention, this is your captain speaking. I've got good news and bad news. The good news is we'll be landing immediately. The bad news is we're crash landing. Turn on the good taste. Turn on MM Radio. MM Radio.